Hello everyone, Zildjian here with another episode of Talk About Things. This episode I'm going to be talking about meat eating and veganism, sort of. Just my tiny, teensy opinion about it. I'm obviously not an expert on nutrition or human animal rights and you know animal cruelty and all that stuff so it's just my own personal opinion which might be a little bit biased and opinionated and inaccurate and ignorant possibly so yeah okay so is meat eating unethical because you know a lot like i i think i mentioned this before i wanted to get a pet i looked at pet videos on YouTube and sometimes you know I mean most of the time it's you know it's dogs and cats and like hamsters and fish and stuff but sometimes I watch some pet videos they got like pigs I think that's the only farm animal oh like yeah pigs some people have like ducks and chickens and stuff in the house with their cats and dogs it's like pretty interesting to see the different species coexist I think there's a video where like a cat adopted a bunch of baby chicks <laughs> so that's cool like you you or was it baby mice but either way i think it was also there's one with baby chicks that's a little bit off topic but basically lots of animals coexisting it's just, and sometimes it's like farm animals yeah there's a dog with like a duck best friend or something like it was yeah so like all these cute animals and then like yeah, obviously, like dogs and cats. No, most people don't eat them or anything like that. You know, rabbits, dogs, cats, mice. But some parts of the world, people do eat those animals that are usually pets. Yeah. <laughs> and if you get to the racist part of YouTube, yeah, it's usually they're making fun of Asian people. So if they see an Asian person, oh, go eat a dog or something. Seriously, I made a comment on a vegan video and they're like oh go eat a dog because they saw I was Asian like <laughs> what the f <laughs> yeah I eat meat but I eat cows just like every other American like Jesus Christ anyway ignoring that <laughs> racism stuff but like yeah like there's definitely I see like a lot of comments like like in pet videos or like especially the ones with farm animals got people going like this is why I'm vegan you know I want to take care of animals I don't want to eat them I don't want to harm them I don't you know I don't want to contribute to it and stuff like that and you know there's like videos with rescue cows and you know pigs and stuff animal cruelty and stuff like that and yeah I could see their point you know every time I eat meat that means I'm creating demand for meat and in order to and in order to satisfy that demand, you know, farms gotta up to increase their supply. So that means they're trying to jam as many cows, as many chickens, as many pigs into their farm. So they're you know, they're not treating them humanely and with like you know, if they're not growing big enough or not growing fast enough or they get sick or something, just like just execute them or just leave them to die or something. Like there's a video where a pig was like like it was it was really sick or something, so it couldn't move. So it just started eating its own foot. It's like, oh my god, that's gross. That's gross. I don't want... I wouldn't wish that on any pig or cow or dog or cat or animal or and even... Or humans. Not even... Well, not even upon the worst enemies. Not that I have any enemies. I'm not like a general or warrior or something like that. But yeah, like... I... I see those videos and it does make me feel bad. It does make me feel sad. And maybe sometimes I get like a little like spark in my head. Maybe I could try veganism. But then I remember meat tastes really good. <laughs> I mean, it's not like I refuse to eat vegan food or anything. Like I remember seeing a post on one of the YouTube comments like, like, I don't eat vegan food, but if you think about it, a lot of food is vegan. Like fruits and vegetables, salads and stuff like that. It, if, if you eat fruits and vegetables, that means you've eaten vegan meals before. I mean, it's, it's just that like, yeah, you also eat meat on the side, but your, your diet may not be vegan or vegetarian, but 
mo if you're a person <laughs> alive, you eat food, you, chances are you've eaten some form of vegetarian or vegan food. In fact, many times probably. Like if if you're a person, you're a human being, you just eat meat, you'll suffer from malnutrition because meat doesn't provide all the vitamins and nutrients that your body needs. And same thing if you only eat vegetables, you, it won't provide you with the vitamins and nutrients you need. You need to eat a balanced diet of both meat and fruits and vegetables. But the, the exact balance, you know, the exact ratio is currently unknown because the food pyramid, the FDA, like they're always like, like the information doesn't seem to be correct. Like, oh, eating too much meat leads to high cholesterol and strokes and stuff. And then you got like other countries where they eat tons of meat and they don't have any, they don't have as much heart attacks or heart disease and stuff like that. Like, it's like, but of course, maybe it's like, you know, cigarettes, like some people smoke and they get lung cancer. People, some people smoke every day, don't get lung cancer. Some people don't smoke and they get lung cancer. Like. It's just like percentages and it's not always true and outlying data and all that stuff like yeah it's uncertain because you know every single person human is completely different you know based on their diet based on how much they exercise based on how much they sleep even maybe in other factors you know like different types of exercise like cardio versus weightlifting you know versus just you know just taking a walk you know maybe just standing standing instead of sitting all day like I do <laughs> and you won't become you know like you know unhealthy like just as something as simple as like standing versus like standing on a like a bus or a subway on a train versus sitting down in a seat maybe just something like that just standing those extra few minutes a day can increase you know completely change how food you know, like your uptake the food and your health risk and all that stuff and Okay, why am I talking about health risks and stuff when I'm talking about meat eating and vegetarianism and veganism? Animal cruelty is definitely really bad. It's very tragic and kind of unavoidable because, you know, it's capitalism. You want to try to squeeze as much meat out of the animals as you can. If they don't produce the, like, you know, the, they don't meet the quota, get out of here. You know, survival of the fittest, even though <laughs> if they survive, they're still going to die, <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, yeah, I should not be laughing because that's, that's a serious matter. Talking about <clears throat> animals, you know, it's life, flesh and blood, living beings, yeah, so, I mean, I've, you know, thought about it, like, definitely, if someone said they're vegan, I would respect that. I'd have zero issues with it. And of course, if you go on YouTube, people are always getting triggered. People are always getting into arguments, you know, cursing at each other. Like, I'm not anti-meat eating and I'm not anti-veganism or whatever. I, could, I'll, <laughs> I like to read the comments and sometimes I wrote, oh, look at all this triggered. I like, I'll look, like, look at all these triggered vegans. And then a bunch of vegans attacking me and all that stuff. Or I say, what a bunch of triggered meat eaters and a bunch of, you know, non-vegans will start attacking me, insulting me and stuff like that. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, people are just really hostile and aggressive when it comes to, like, defending their lifestyle or diet or whatever. Like, just chill. Take a chill pill. Just relax. Just, like, don't get involved into identity politics don't get involved into like anything politics any ideologies like if you want to eat ve uh, vegan you don't want to eat meat that's it just just keep it to yourself you don't have to tell people eating vegan you know is the superior way or whatever don't tell and if you if you don't if you don't want to be vegan you like eating meat you don't have to tell people like i'm gonna eat like 50 cows just to spite you like everything so like i I see in comments were like that, like, "Oh, you're vegan? That's like, mo like I'm gonna eat extra <laughs> five extra hamburgers, you know, to eat. Like, I'm gonna eat your meat, your portion of meat too. Like, why do you have to be so petty? I'm like, even though I know it's just the internet anonymity, people like to troll, people like to argue, and people like to insult and stuff. Like, when they're anonymous, they just like fling out all the hatred and bigotry and all that stuff. It's like, it's just like." 
talking about food, man. Chill out. Chillax. You know, just... I, I don't get why people get t- so serious about everything. I mean, yeah, there's definitely some tragedies. Definitely a lot of tragedies. Definitely a lot of injustice. A lot of cruelty. Humans and animals and... Uh, and etc. I don't know if I want to count plants, <laughs> plant life in it. I mean, plants don't really, they're not really sentient, you know. And like, we, but we do plant, like, grow plants and harvest them and eat them and stuff like that. Like, and there is a lot of food waste in terms of plants too. Like, I just, uh, I was it, I would watch that John Oliver video where, like, <laughs> like the garbage, the garbage workers, like, oh my god, you like, you could build like you can have like 700 salads over here like there's like car like just trunk trucks full of you know lettuce and tomatoes and corn and like all these vegetables that's perfectly edible but you know people throw like the the markets or whatever the farms throw it out because it doesn't look like perfect or something like it has to look perfect in a certain shape a certain way otherwise people won't buy it they'll think like oh it's ugly like what's wrong with it there, you know like it's there's something wrong with it people only want to buy something that looks you know perfect and fresh like fruits and you know tomatoes and whatever like basically like they're supposed to be round but if there's like a different shape is it like malformed or whatever you know it just might be like maybe undernourished or whatever or sometimes like the fruits or vegetables they kind of like grow together like i don't I'm not, it's like, it looks like they're both, they're like split apart, having babies or something. But people don't want to buy that, they look at it and they think it's like genetically modified or mutant DNA or something like that. Like, the thing is like, oh my god, what is that? Yeah. I keep on going off topic here. Okay, yeah, so back to the meat eating, like, yeah, I mean, is it immoral? Unethical? I guess, in a way, it is unmoral and unethical but that's really not going to stop people from doing it a lot of things are un immoral and unethical like people you know i don't want to call them con artists but like you know people in the finance industry or in sales people always trying to hype things up like oh you gotta have this stock you gotta buy this product and basically their job is try to trick you into you know spending money and you know sometimes it is good for you but sometimes it's like it's not necessarily good for you like you know some finance sometimes you know they just got to meet a quota they're trying to make you open another credit card or trying to get you know that like they got to have like like fit like they have to open 10 checking accounts a month for whatever the hell the quota is you know stuff like that or like retail like like oh you want to open the store credit card you'll get you know three percent cash back or whatever and if and if they don't get it they don't get another like a, like 10 customers or whatever to open a new credit card they'll i don't know get penalized or it'll be against the record or know, who knows maybe they'll even get fired but basically a lot of things in this world is un- immoral unethical but i guess that doesn't really make it okay <laughs> two wrongs don't make a right 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 <laughs> i mean yeah Eating meat, I guess I could see, I could see why people would say it's immoral, unethical, because of all the animal cruelty and basically, animals livestock is just basically slavery. We're just raising them just to be to eat them, and then you know we don't even treat them well or whatever. Like we treat them harshly, cruelly, and stuff like that. It is. It is certainly a problem, but obviously not, I'm sure not all farms are like slave factories, livestock breeding factories, you know, where they jam like 300 pigs into one barn or whatever. At least that's what those organic farmers claim. And then some people say organic is just a lie, just, you know, in marketing. (laughs) Like, who knows? Maybe there are a lot of farms that don't treat their animals like crap. And then they saw like, oh, there's a market for organic stuff. And then they say, like, bam, organic. Now, now they can charge double the price because people care. Like people want to save animal lives. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I guess it, it kind of all comes down to greed, right? People want to squeeze every penny out of their the the, the livestock, the meat, 
or maybe you know people who want to just slap on that organic label and charge extra money for soaring profits they don't have to then they don't have to sell as many pigs they don't have to sell as much cows or milk or whatever they can you know they can have less livestock and get more profit out of it because it's organic well in terms of organic I've I don't know if I've ever eaten organic meat but I've, you know I've drank the organic milk but usually the organic milk is UHT milk so is it because it's organic that it makes it taste good or is it because it's the the ultra heat ultra high heat temperature pasteurization maybe it's both who knows because I know I remember in China I was eating beef I was eating lots and lots of beef and I had like zero stomach issues no farts no cramps no you know no stomach aches or gas or stomach acid or anything like that whenever I eat meat here in the US I could just eat like a little bit and I will have just nasty ass stinky farts hopefully that doesn't count as cursing but yeah like disgusting gross smelly farts <laughs> and you know when I take a dump take a poop it also smells horrendously terrible and yeah sometimes you get stomach aches and stuff like that you know gas or like it feels like my arteries are getting clogged or stuff maybe it's because you know in America you know they're feeding the cows grass I mean not grass they keep feeding the cows like cornmeal and whatever like basically stuffing them full of carbs and hormones and whatever to make them grow fat and bigger so they can have more meat I know that organic cows the beef organic beef is supposed to be leaner and healthier for you it has like a it's it's, a, it's leaner yeah so it's healthier so who knows maybe I, I was thinking maybe in China they don't have as much money to you know feed the cow so much and you know who knows so like you know there's a lot more people there a lot more cat like a lot more people there eating all the you know rice and vegetables and stuff like that they probably don't have corn there or they don't I I am I have no idea honestly but I was just thinking maybe in China the cows aren't you know as fed as well as the US factory cows or something you know cuz uh, China they have a lot of the regular farms so maybe they have plenty of you know it's a huge space they don't have to like cram as many cows as much like animals inside so maybe the meat is fresher or or it's more organic you know because the cows aren't eating a lot as much or maybe the free range you know stuff like that they get living in giant massive farms so maybe that's why I, the beef over there when I ate it zero stomach issues zero farting issues zero you know flatulence no smelly farts and no farts at all it was like a totally completely different experience yeah it tasted better too but i think that was just because the cook was slathering in oil <laughs> yeah but yeah if yeah anyway so i really like eating cows eating beef that's my favorite meat of all time but yeah, so like, I probably would never ever go vegan because I love cows too much. I mean, <laughs> I don't love cows too much that because then I would stop eating them. But I love eating cows too much, you know. It tastes really delicious. And of course, whenever you say that on a vegan video or to a vegan comment, or whatever, they're going to flame the crap out of you. They're going to be so angry and troll you and like and insult you and stuff like that yeah and call you a dog eater if you're Asian <laughs> yeah anyway so I'd probably never go be I wouldn't say never but unless there's some sort of like I know they're working on stuff like making um, vegetable meat like you know it was like made out of, not sore beans it was made out of green beans edamine or something or like meat there's like protein or was it mushroom protein mycelium impossible burger like there's a whole bunch of them right now i know oh, impossible burger is like the big one and like if you watch buzzfeed buzzfeed videos yeah you've probably seen tons of you know meat substitutes meat alternatives and stuff like that even stuff like crickets i mean cricket obviously is not vegetarian it's not vegan but it's a meat it's a substitute for meat you know i I'd, I'd like to eat some crickets 
if it wasn't so freaking expensive on Amazon, but yeah. <laughs> I think I checked it, it's like $25 for like five packs or something like but basically it's super expensive. It's like it's like five dollars for like this small bag. It's like more expensive than chips. And I doubt it tastes as good as potato chips or cheese doodles or cheese curls or anything like that. Yeah. But yeah, I I'd be open to trying, you know, different kind of foods and stuff. And of course, you know, insects and stuff. Some people think like, oh, that's gross. Like, even though like like half the world does eat insects, you know, mostly in Asia and Africa. But I guess to them, that's like, ew, gross. I mean, like only like these freaking disgusting minorities and foreigners eat it. Like, I don't want to eat it. Like, but yeah, so a lot of people to go on vacation, they go to the local cuisine to try out some insects, and it turns out it's actually pretty freaking delicious. You know, some you know some YouTubers I see them eating like insects and insects and stuff, like 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 the foodie in YouTubers they eat it and like wow this is delicious, and then there's the like the vloggers or whatever they eat it they're like, <laughs> they're like trying to vlog, like they're like they're definitely overreacting, like there's like like there's the like cricket. <laughs> they're like gagging and like oh my god this tastes disgusting like it smells insane. like nah man it's just a freaking bug it probably tastes delicious stop overreacting stop treating it like like it's like the most disgusting thing ever yeah <laughs> like yeah anyway that's so I'd be open to try like meat burgers as, I mean vegetable meat substitutes but I have eaten like tofu meat stuff like that just tastes nasty tastes disgusting it just tastes like super seasoned tofu but doesn't taste anything like meat if any if they make like a meat substitute it definitely has to taste better than those tofu meat or whatever soy meat so substitutes but you know based on those videos i saw like the people eating it like they couldn't tell between the the fake meat you know the the it wasn't soy, it was uh, like some other bean meat or mushroom meat or basically the the vegan meat hamburger and the regular hamburger like it they a lot of people eating it they say it tastes like almost this identical almost the same like if they if they didn't tell them it was vegan they wouldn't guess it basically so it's that good hopefully I'll try it someday but right now it's probably way too expensive and probably not in New York City or or is it impossible burger in New York City? But even if it is, it's like probably like twenty dollars or at least ten dollars or some bogusness. Ten dollars I could get like three pounds of ground beef, which is probably filled with mystery meat, like like what, that movie Fast Food Nation. There's probably E. coli from all the like cow poop inside the intestines that gets caught up into the ground beef. Yeah. So, yeah. Who knows? Maybe that's what makes it taste good, right? <laughs> That's what Bruce Willis said. Bruce Willis character says in that movie. Yeah. Okay. That's way too off topic, and I think I rambled long enough. You can tell. Uh, okay. Yeah. And most of the video was kind of glossed over it, and probably didn't even address anything. I kind of went super off topic and just ran rambling about random things. But that's the point of these videos. So hopefully everyone's enjoying this series. If you like or dislike this video. Be sure to let me know down below and subscribe if you have not already and be sure to comment you know have you are you vegan or you like or have you considered it have you tried vegan food you know vegetarian foods I mean if you eat salad obviously you eat in vegan foods like I think even cereal or something I mean cereal without the milk I've I've eaten cereal without the milk I'm pretty sure that's vegan right <laughs> yeah <laughs> Uh, at the very least veg vegetarian because like like I think for some vegetarians they consider like eggs and milk and cheese and ice cream like that stuff still they can still eat it because it's like a byproduct like yeah like the, the pure vegans they don't eat any animal meat or byproducts so like while some vegetarians they they're okay with eating like cheese and milk and ice cream stuff like that because it's you're not eating the meat you're just drinking the milk or eating food made out of the milk so i guess for to some people that's okay and eggs like the unfertilized eggs yeah because like if, if you don't eat it it's just gonna sit there and rot anyway right yeah yeah
Oh man, I was just thinking about the eggs there. Some video of chicken. When it get the egg come came out, and sometimes like it gets it gets really disgusting. Basically, I don't want to talk about. It. <laughs> anyway, that's way too ram much rambling. So yeah, as and support me on Patreon. Give me some cash money if you got it lying around. Maybe we could try, finally try the impossible, possible burger, right? Yeah, as always, thank you for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.